in Houston. Okay, this is the end of living here. So this time instead of the big U-Haul, I've actually opted for the 6x12 trailer. Uh, it was actually a lot bigger than I was expecting on the inside. So we got Tucson. All right, I think we're pretty much locked and loaded. I don't know what Emily's doing. What are you doing? We've got the one in the front. Yeah, it might be in my backpack. Alright, um, dogs are in the back. Oh. Hey. Alright, I am very, very excited to be leaving Houston. Yeah. I just got the small task <laughs> of <laughs> driving to. What the hell is this? I'm driving. 36 hours, so this <laughs> is the start. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna vlog it, why not? Might be one video, it might be 10 videos. We don't know, do we? Here's the other one, I found okay. it. Yeah, dogs have, dogs have got the new leashes that keep them in. They actually just hook over the seat. Yeah, yeah. Keep go. you safe while we drive, because you always can get out of the other ones. All right. So yeah, picked, picked the trailer up at 9 o'clock this morning and it is 3.42. Um, yeah, that was a lot of work. Yeah. That was a lot of work. Yeah, so where, where are we heading? Um, Wichita Falls. Wichita Falls. I think we've got the thing on. All right. So yeah, first one just passed up from Houston past Dallas, Wichita Falls, stop in the, the night, and then we're going to the place that I can't yeah. really pronounce, Le Mans. Some comfort in Wichita Falls. All right, five hours, 43 minutes. All right. All right, here we go, should right. we do it? Yeah. Um, we center, oh my word. Do you know which way this is gonna make us go first? Okay. I'm gonna have to change the answer right now. Alright, we're in the drive through. First stop for Dutch Brothers Coffee, which I've never heard of. Emily has spoke about it. Um, yeah. I thought it was like an Oregon thing. I didn't know that they had them here. Yeah. Random. Yeah. I've, I've ordered a latte. Uh, what did you order? Something kick it. Cold brew. I don't know what it is, but... Cold brew. It said cold brew. Kicker sounds like a good adjective yeah. for coffee, so... Yeah. Needed at the moment. Yeah, and then we're going to fuel up a bit. We're in College Station at the moment. Which is where Texas A&M is. Yeah. And I look like a mess. Yeah. I'm a right mess. Conduct, I'm not very happy. No. Cut him. Yeah. All right. Latte. Yes. Thank you very much. Thank you. All right. Perfect. Thank you. Y'all take care. You got it. You got it. Yeah. Oh my gosh, it's not for you. It's not for me. It's for right. any lid. Here it is. Thank you. Feels hot. Very hot. That's good. Oh yeah. That's good? Yeah. Right, let's get some fuel. Right. So first up, Wichita Falls and we're about 45 minutes away. Um, we're approaching around 11 p.m. So be ready to get there. Yeah. So boom, keep you updated. Good luck. We've just got to, uh, where are we? Wichita, 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 Wichita Falls, and it is 12.18. Um, and for some reason, like, we had a comfort in it and it is rammed, which isn't great when you got the trailer. And then just had a little argument over parking. Like, we can't park a trailer, but everybody else can. 
Stupid, innit? Yeah. But we won. <laughs> we won, because it's a stupid rule. So, comfort in. Which is our falls? That's stupid. <laughs> um, but the dogs, dogs are down here, yeah. eating, and we're gonna head to Denny's. It has been a long ass day. But, bed's nice and comfy, so, get some sleep, and then get the hell out of here. What do you reckon? Yeah. Alright. Okay, Friday morning, managed to sleep last night. Uh, not for very long, but you know when you get a sort of deep sleep for a good couple hours, it's, I don't know, I'm refreshed, I'm ready to go. So today we've got about nine hours, nine hours total of driving. Uh, so yeah, gonna get started now. It is, I think, 7.30, 7.30 in the morning. Um, and luckily the car hasn't been towed. So yeah, let's get out of Wichita Falls. Like, I don't know, maybe a hundred miles or so from Amarillo. So, just getting some, getting some fuel. Emily's getting a subway, and uh, yeah, just get back, back on the road. Um, yeah, I'm in some super small town at the moment, and it is freezing. Definitely. Definitely not in Houston anymore. Are we corn dog? Nope. <laughs> All right. Food time. driving since 7 30 in the morning 7 30 and it's now basically seven because we went back an hour so yeah <laughs> I mean, almost 12 hours <laughs> so 12 hours 12 hours we've been going but we're here um almost a couple of miles and then we're gonna get situated i'm gonna go to the gym and just move my legs a minute and then we're gonna go for dinner tonight aren't we yeah which should be good um, and the snow, the snow on the ground. Not very much, but a little bit. Still very flat. Yeah. 
and we're at altitude though. We've basically just been going uphill <laughs> the entire journey. So I think, what is it, four and a half thousand now? Yeah, something like that. Yeah, four and a half thousand feet in elevation. So yeah, it's gonna be interesting. Yeah. Um, yeah, I'm ready to stop driving. <laughs> All right, there. almost there. Update coming soon. And there's a corn dog, and there's a Molly. Molly doesn't like the car still. Find it. Find it. Okay, Saturday morning, 7.40, we just packed the car, had a little bit more of a, an organise, and now we are coffee shop which is really close to the hotel which is there um, but yeah it was quite nice woke up to uh, sunrise uh, sun coming up and it was nice and cold and uh, all right coffee time Okay, we got coffee. Coffee. We got we've, corn dog. We got corn dog. A little corn dog. Molly and Mary. then Molly's down there somewhere. All right, so yeah, so today we're heading out of Lemon. 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 Uh, we enjoyed it. It was good. Hotel was good, and the the sort of the restaurant thing we went to last night was nice. And then just got a nice coffee. We're gonna go and fill up with the old fuel, and then we are heading to Denver, over the Rockies, Fort Collins, and then to Evanston, Wyoming, oh for a couple boy. of days. We're staying two nights, so that's gonna be nice. There, I'm going to see some old friends from back from 2006. Ah. Excited? Yeah. yeah. All right, here we go. All right, we are, are we in Wyoming now? Not yet. Oh yeah, we're near, we're on the border of Wyoming. We've gone past Denver. Fort Collins and then um, yeah we're here and it's quite nice it's beautiful um, it's very rocky you now so it's actually quite a nice drive mm -hmm. isn't it yeah, I think so. uh, altitude we're at what are we six something yeah. around that 69 almost 7,000 Oh, just under 7,000 uh, feet, which is it's pretty high. Um, and I think the car's feeling it slightly. Yeah. You can hear it, can't you? Yeah. All right, I've just noticed as well, my lens is pretty dirty on that. Yeah. All right, we're back soon. Oh, the rocks here. Yeah. Look at that thing. Yeah. I'm coming. All right, we're at the dog park at the gas station, or petrol station. Um, yeah, altitude like 8,000 now. So feeling it a little bit, but it's okay. Uh, yeah, just letting the dogs have a little run in the dog park. Quick fuel up and then we've got like 100 mile stretch or something where there's no fuel. All right, here we go. Get a meal, the mountain. Uh, mostly mountain and a little bit of you. We're 
in Sinclair at the moment. And it's just doing a bit of cleaning. And not much to see here. We've got a lot of wagons and a train on the horizon going past that way. Still pretty high up. We've got about 200 miles left. So then we're going to do one more stop. So I produce Getaway from scratch again. Is it sounding the same? Uh, the leads, yes. Uh, the main idea, but slightly, slightly different. All right, it is Sunday morning. Uh, we arrived in Evanston last night about 6.30 p.m. So we've got a day off today. We're having Sunday off and then traveling tomorrow. Um, it's like 29 degrees at the moment, but the sun's out, so it's not too bad. Um, it's actually in my eyes. Uh, yeah, we're, we're sort of getting there now, over the halfway point to Seattle. We're just going to chill out today, going to go for a little walk, stretch the legs, get the body moving a little bit, um, and then hitting the road, hit the road in the morning for a big drive to Kennewick. Um, there's also meant to be a bit of a snowstorm coming in today, uh, but it keeps getting pushed back. So I think we're going to be okay driving wise, but yeah, we're just going to get out and just, like I said, just move the body a little bit. Enjoy, enjoy the sort of sun and the fresh air and no humidity. But it's quite nice and it's peaceful. Can I hear the birds? Oh! Oh, that's so nice, Emily. Oh. Okay, we spent the day Evanston. It's coming up to Sunday evening. Um and we've been snowing quite a bit. There's um, I'm going to climb over. Oh. Oh. All right. So, squeeze over it. Oh. So tomorrow, um, we've got a big drive to Kennewick, Washington. So it's it's like ten hours on. Oof. 10 hours on um, Google but because we've got the trailer it's taking it's taking a lot longer to actually um, get to places and then obviously we need to stop um, okay so just gonna run the car for a second um, just make sure the windscreens like just so it doesn't freeze too bad tonight uh, tomorrow morning's going to be a cold one. We're going to head down to Salt Lake, um, and basically around Salt Lake, and then up to sort of Boise, and then Ken Kennewick. Um, I'm going to plan the journey to try and do a bit of a push to get from like Wyoming, get through Utah, um, and then stop rather than stopping stopping this way, and just try and get a chunk done. Ideally. I don't really want to be driving too much at, at night if I can help it. Um, like the first two nights coming out of Houston was all nighttime, um, and then Lehman wasn't too bad. So yeah, and then here I didn't have to drive at night, which was which was a lot better. Um, so yeah, that is that's about it. It is it is freezing. It is absolutely freezing. I got shorts on. Um, don't ask me why, but I have. 
Uh, temperature here is 28 Fahrenheit. Um, and obviously, like I said, we've come from Houston, which is like a nice, comfortable 80 degrees. So yeah, that's about it. Um, I've got a cup of tea in there. I'm gonna have a cup of tea, you might have a beer, um, plan the route, and then yeah, early start tomorrow. I'm gonna take it super easy. We're at 7,000 feet elevation, so we need to come down, need to be careful. It's like a little sort of canyon road. Um, yeah, just be safe. Okay, as you can see, it is really cold. Celsius, minus nine, um, and I think f like 14 degrees Fahrenheit. Um, yeah, it's cold. So just heating the car up for 10 minutes, and then gonna top up on fuel, and then we're heading out towards Salt Lake City. Well, it's really peaceful. Okay, we are in Idaho, we just stopped and the fuel station's got a cool little, cool little taco truck. So I just ordered a burrito, picked that up and then, and then we're off. No, that'll be fine. Thank you. All right, food, back on the road. Okay, okay my burrito is absolutely gigantic. It's like a baby. It's like a small baby, but you know, I've got like six hours to eat this. <laughs> there you go. Boom, taco truck. Sounds good. Now you're gonna merge right here. Yeah. Let's do this. I'll be taking a bite of it. Okay. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> oh no. You want to hold it while you drive? <laughs> Maybe. Is it good? Yeah. That's good. Boom. <laughs> Maybe. Just Okay, we've just pulled over gas station. Um, we're in Oregon. We just passed over the border of um, Oregon, and yeah, it's a bit warmer here, which is which is quite nice. Sun's out. Just grabbed grabbed a little coffee here, and what else did we pick up? Oh, just one of these. You just get bored of water when you when you're driving. Um, about three three more hours to Kennewick, but we've done done an absolute stint this morning. So Wyoming into Utah, Utah into Idaho, Idaho, Oregon. Um, yeah, so far so good. Dogs are behaving. The plan is we needed to fuel up now before we go through this like national forest place because there's no no um, petrol stations or anything um, get to the other side of that and then we'll probably make one more stop take the dogs to the to the bathroom and then yeah can work all right
Yeah, we're near Katie. We're near Katie. Yeah. We'll bring you guys up here. Um, to get away from <laughs> Texas. Yeah. yeah, I'm from this. Yeah. yeah. Emily's from this uh, from Seattle. Okay. All her family's yeah. there. So. Oh my uh, gosh, definitely better. Uh, no, go and sit down. Do you want to grab it? It's okay. I know. All right, Emily, you're <laughs> so in charge of this. Okay, I got it. <laughs> Thank, Thank you, you so much. <laughs> Okay, here. No, get back. Get back. Do you need any straws or anything today? Uh, no. no I'm, good. Thank Sit. you. Sit. Oh, you have this with Holly. Oh, yummy. Thank you. Of course. Yeah, good luck yeah. with everything. Oh, thank you. And Appreciate it. Thank you. Got everything. There's a couple behind us. <laughs> <laughs> All right. See ya. Bye. Bye. All right. <clears throat> we got a very happy <laughs> Molly, very happy corn dog. We're having a little puppuccinos from Dutch Brothers. Little morning puppuccino. No one's eating their bone mothers. Oh, got their dog bones in them. I'm sure they'll. I don't know if Molly can get a big nose in there. <laughs> no. Um. Okay, we've just got coffees. And we're going Kennewick, Washington to. West Seattle. We're going to stop off at Emily's dad's first, drop the dogs off, we're going to head to the apartment and then pretty much unload everything, hopefully, and then um, Emily's mum's going to pick the dogs up, drop the dogs back off at the apartment, which is quite nice, so that means we can concentrate on just getting everything out of the U-Haul into the apartment with, with all these two. Crazy, yeah, but yeah, that's the plan. It is seven o'clock, seven thirteen. So, you just want your bones? Here. Long drive yesterday, but feeling all right. I had a stretch this morning. Oh, oh, lovely. Oh, that's shit. Wait, wait, no, no, no. That's the corn dog. Okay, we've got cream everywhere now. It's okay. <laughs> all right, we're out. Let's see if anyone on a given Saturday wants to game. It's pretty lame, yeah. Uh, and then the other one is like another one that's different people that play video games where it's just like, hey, did anyone try the new Spider-Man? Is it good? <laughs> Okay, we have made it to Issaquah. Is that where we are? Yeah. Yeah, Issaquah. Um, pretty much in Seattle. Yeah. So we've just dropped the dogs off at Emily's dad's and now we're going to go and um, sort the lease out for the apartment and then unload that thing, get rid of that thing, get rid of the trailer. Um, yeah. Yeah. So I'm going to attack attack this but yeah it looks really nice it's green <laughs> Very it's green. green smells nice fresher nice temperature mm. happy yeah very happy happy right. okay we have made it i uh, got got to the apartment unloaded i just did it as like a amrap we just sprinted <laughs> it both of us did didn't we yeah uh only bad news is we got a ticket but good news is it was we managed to park like pretty close to the apartment, which is good. A damn sight easier than where we've come from. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna cheers. Cheers. Sorry, I just looked at all the cabinets. <laughs> Got like one one drink. Yeah. Hmm. So yeah, we just got carnage in here now. Um, <laughs> Like I said, I don't, I don't even go. Worst case, I've got my my bean bag. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, Emily's mum's coming now with the dogs, so yeah, they're gonna be rummaging through everything. <laughs> yeah.